and you start reaching the end of me. And I was like, for the first time, like, what the... After a year we're together, mm -hmm. it just like... Keep that in the video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how's it going, boys? So today's video, I'm gonna ask my girlfriend, uh, what does she think about dating a guy as crazy as I am? <laughs> yeah, okay. and by that I mean like a guy who is wearing something like this, a penis extender. Seriously, like, first of all, when we first started dating, I never told her about this shit. I never told her that... What you're actually doing yeah, for a living. <laughs> what I'm doing for a living. Um, well, I wasn't really doing that for a living back mm -hmm. then, so... But I had those devices already, like... You had I, it with them in Bangkok? No, no, oh, it, it, it was here, here in Kiev. Okay. I had three of them. Mm -hmm. uh, the Pini Master, this one and the Pini Master Weight Expander and the Pini Master Classic. So mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of the Pini Master, as you guys can see. Um, so you didn't know about this. Stop touching it, it's gooey, it's like foie. I like it. I, I used it. My dick was there. <laughs> yeah, so, um, so I didn't quite tell you. I don't know at which point in our relationship that I actually tell you that or After show. After we back to Kiev already. So it was so. already like, like a nine months of relationship, something like that. Yeah, pretty nice amount already after first lockdown in Bangkok. Mm. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, last summer. Was I, hold on a second. Mm -hmm. It was after you came back from Crimea? Yeah, uh -huh. so September it was, last year. It was less than a year that I have no idea. How did I present it to you? Do you remember? You, you make it like very casual. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, every guy at home just have it and this is just uh, like uh, you you just put it outside and you wait for me to ask it. Like, so I ask you first, like, what is this kit? It's like, look pretty interesting, mm -hmm. like a medical kit or mm -hmm. something. And you're just like, oh, that's a penis extender. And I'm like, penis, what? <laughs> <laughs> and you try to explain to me with very like casual and serious face, like a background of the company, that the Germans, how they like perfected and that you actually can get results from wearing it every day. Mm -hmm. And uh, like uh, your penises keep growing because of that. And I was like, but why I never see you wearing it like back in Bangkok? And uh, you were like, yeah, you tell me something like you didn't bring it with you because... Yeah, you I didn't bring it with me. Yeah, you haven't planned to be in Bangkok that long, so it right. was just like go back trip. And uh, yeah, yeah, you never just tell me about it. Yeah, so I basically showed it to you nine months into the relationship, not like from the beginning. <laughs> yeah, so far, not at all. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, so mm -hmm. I'm curious. First of all, what would have happened if I told you for like first month or whatever? First month? Honestly, nothing bad would happen as well. I would just um, understand why exactly, mm. how it's working. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I would think that you're a little crazy, but like not not as much. I still, I mean, I still like you. It, it doesn't really matter what, mm -hmm. like, what you're stretching in your body. And first of all, I'm going to be the one who's enjoying this stretching. So come on, what am I cutting? Uh, That's what I was trying tree, to get. Trying cutting the tree where I'm sitting on. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. where I was trying to get like, uh, I would, yeah. I mean, a girl would be shocked, but deep inside if we're dating, mm -hmm. like she's the one who's going to enjoy that. Oh, By the way, there's somebody's girlfriend who messaged me privately. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah and said, hey, thanks for your videos. <laughs> My boyfriend's stretching his dick and I'm benefiting from that. And she sent me like a really nice message. I don't want to mention her name because maybe the guy watching will know. Mm -hmm. and she okay. doesn't want to know. Yeah, she doesn't want to be exposed. Yeah, so um, what did you think when I, like, when I first showed that to you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was uh, first I was thinking that maybe you're a sex addict, but then I think But I am like, a sex addict. Yeah, but what then I think like, of course, what I'm thinking, he is. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, like one part of me are thinking that it might be quite weird of you to be so focused on your dick and like keep perfecting it that mm -hmm. much, mm -hmm. like come on. And uh, I have a slightly doubt that it might work actually because from my point of view, maybe it's like genetic more like uh, what's the mm -hmm, most important mm -hmm. here. 
um, but then actually then you start wearing it every day mm. for the first time I saw wearing mm-hmm. it every day like for at least a month mm-hmm. or so mm-hmm. and you start reaching the end of me and I was like for the first time like, uh, after a year we together mm-hmm. it just like out of nowhere, just one sex, mm-hmm. you start reaching the, the end. And, mm-hmm. and then I'm like, okay, it's actually working. Keep on going. <laughs> <laughs> and right now I'm, I'm reminding him like, are you wearing it already? Did you wear it today? Bastard. <laughs> Bastard. She's making me feel small. Nah. Yeah. So at the beginning you didn't feel like it was like too weird or... Yeah, I felt it weird, but uh, it's not something harmful. It's not something as creepy. Like, uh, mm, it's fine. Interesting. Like now at at this point, like first of all, it's the first relationship where I'm actually sharing something like this with my partner. And second, previously I wouldn't have the balls to share that. Like I would think the girl would just think I'm completely crazy and uh, <laughs> yeah, just run away. Mm-hmm. So it's the first time that I was like, I felt comfortable enough and open enough to like. Yeah, so I actually feel that, that too. Mm-hmm. So like that you trust me that much <clears throat> that you are able to say that. And I understand it's not something very easy to say. Right. So yeah, I'm also actually appreciating that too. Also, I feel like. I feel like girls are kind of more understanding and less ashamed of such stuff because they're always like trying to improve their bodies, right? Yeah, like they, yeah. they're stuffing silicone in their boobs and ass and lips mm-hmm. and making their nose and makeup and putting fake eyelashes. and So they, they are experts in changing their body, shall we say, yeah, or yeah. improving their body, if mm-hmm. you want to say it that way. So you know, they, like, you guys would put those hair curlers and, Mm -hmm. like, curl, they they would put it and, like, sleep with it to have curly hair in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. Put some, like, uh, also hair extenders in your hair. Right, right. So, you actually have a long, uh, long hair. hair. Yeah, but uh, then, yeah, I actually understand the point here. Yeah, so, like, Mm -hmm. I guess we as guys, when we start, when when we want to do that, it's not as weird, because it's, like, I mean, obviously, first of all, girls care about dick size to a certain extent, especially my girlfriend. She likes it huge. So, and I, and I, somebody, uh, her boyfriend, sorry, who uh, really cares, really cares about what she likes, Mm -hmm. trying to give her her dreams, (laughs) dreams and desires, you know, trying to compete with all the rest of the team Mm. prior to me. Wow. I'm like... I'm the happiest woman here. <laughs> you bastard. That's what you are. Uh-huh. She made me insecure about my dick size. I'm not. <sighs> you guys have no idea. Uh, so what's what's the good range? Let's take, uh, yeah, 14. 14. To 18. 14 to 18. That's Jesus yeah. Christ. From 14 to porn star. That's the range. <laughs> huh, Natalie? You guys, I'm fucked. I'm so fucked. You are not, you're just perfect right there. Walking around with micro penis here. <laughs> I, we were just making another YouTube video for another channel and... Uh... Oh, come on. You guys have no idea the anaconda guys she was dating in the oh past. Oh my god, it was in the past before I even met him. What's the problem? Doesn't matter, still counts. I'm intimidated by that. So it's not too crazy to actually be wearing that, in my opinion. Like. Also, think about it that way. I, at this point, don't really focus as much on penis enlargement as much as I focus on penis health and uh, erection-like strength because I feel like when I'm stretching my dick, it's just like I'm stretching my body. Like when you go to the gym and you stretch your body, Mm -hmm. you have a generally like healthier body. You can move better. You have like less pain. It's generally a more functional body and I feel it's exactly the same when I'm doing the stretching I'm generally getting harder erections it's easier to get erections Mm -hmm. and on top of this if you're actually consistent with it which I'm not lately but if you're consistent with it you will gain some length and I did gain an an inch in length and I have my before and after photos on my OnlyFans so you guys can check them out and see for yourself but on top of this I also gained like thickness and I and I had like harder erections so like that's an extra that's like an extra benefit Mm -hmm. 
to wearing it. But I would just, like, even if I'm not trying to get big, like I will keep wearing it for maybe once a week or twice a week, just in order for you to keep the erection healthy. Like you can wear it for an hour or two hours a week and this way you are going to feel a difference when it comes to bed, uh, especially if you are like older and you are starting to get like weaker erections. This might help in my opinion, like it helped me. And so the guys that are in a relationship right now, they shouldn't worry about showing that or, you know, coming up with the idea in front of their girlfriends. Yeah, like, uh, first of all, it's a benefit for your girl. Mm -hmm. And uh, anybody can understand that. Mm. It's as uh, simple as that. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's, it's not, not like, you're not doing it all the time. Just like one hour and uh, it's... Right. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I'm still kind of... I can't wear it outside yet. Like I wear it like for a five minute walk, like if I'm gonna get something from the shop like really quickly, but mm -hmm. I'm not comfortable. Like if somebody would find out outside, it's still quite. Yeah, outside is, is weird, I, I agree. But like if you're living with someone and uh, you have a relationship and feelings, like the person will understand that. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So it's not too weird. Actually, you're reminding me to wear this thing again. <laughs> I didn't wear it today. You bastard. <laughs> All right, so your opinion is like not, not too bad. Or sh is, it, is it positive or negative? Of course it's positive. Yeah, yeah, like I actually, first of all, I didn't believe in this too much. I was like, okay, like just another toy. Hmm. <laughs> You're playing with it. No, I, I didn't yeah. believe in it either. I was like, you know what? Before I judge, I'm just gonna wear it. Mm -hmm. and, and I didn't really feel the difference, mm -hmm. like, I, cause yeah, I wasn't because like, it's like just a couple millimeters, like growing slowly, you're not feeling like too much. Right. But I can feel the difference because you're inside of me. So mm. for me, it's like very visible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but like when you get to like an inch extra, like you're going to feel, I mean, at least you felt the difference. Yeah, of course. I also felt like the fact that you're reaching the end. Like the yeah. Yeah. You're also feeling it, right? Pelvic mm -hmm. floor, <laughs> whatever. Uh, yeah, so it was, it was amazing. Yeah, I'm gonna start using it in a different way. I'm gonna start like putting a lot of weight. Mm -hmm. By the way, guys, you shouldn't do that. I'm just like experimenting on myself. I'm gonna start doing like high intensity training with this thing. So like attaching heavy weight for just 30 minutes. Oh, okay, shorter time. Shorter but time, weight. but more weight. Mm -hmm. And then see how that works. So if you guys are into that, feel free to subscribe to the channel so you see my results because I'm probably gonna share them here on this channel. Yeah, so uh, I guess uh, that summarizes it. If you feel like you need some extra length or girth, go for it. Uh, don't worry about uh, what your girlfriend might think because she's probably gonna like it at the end of the day, even <laughs> if she's gonna be shocked at the beginning, but deep inside she's gonna be like, ah, more for me. Mm -hmm. So uh, no big deal. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up. And we're gonna link both of our OnlyFans in the description of this video below. So the OnlyFans of Natalie, if you guys wanna see her naked. <laughs> and, Sounds weird, right? And my uh, OnlyFans as well. Uh, so you guys can check out my results in other you videos. See you naked. <laughs> also that. Yeah, and if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on future videos. Let me know in the comments down below, what did your girlfriend think when she found out you're wearing a penis extender. I'd really love to hear from you guys. And Natalie is reading the comments as well. So, yep. <laughs> and anyways, I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.